Hello guys, welcome to Trianopod with another video. So I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we will learn about duplicate records from database in bubble.io. So avoiding duplicate records in database help us in maintaining data integrity and consistency. So let's we can take an example. If you have a duplicate customer records, uh, it can be difficult to determine which record contains the most accurate or up-to-data information. So I think this video will help you out. We make new page and I will make name this page is avoid, avoid duplicate record. Okay. And we don't have to clone from here, just create it. So here yeah, I'm taking one text also. First we have to lay out this page. As we know, this is our basic functions we have to do. So here uh, I have to take one group. And make it column. After that, uh, I'm just adjusting it so it'll be look nice. So I'm giving here a padding. Okay, you can give your as per a need. And here I'm taking one text and. Uh, Avoid duplicate record. Record. Okay. So I'm giving you some font size and a little bit. Font width, so it will look quite nicely. So I'm giving you black. So first, have we have to take uh, one input text and the text name is enter put. Okay, after that, um, I have to take one button also, and the button name is submit. After that, what we have to do, go and lay out and give some spacing between them because they are sitting nicely. So, after that, what we have to do is the first up first step is great. Here we enter food name and then submit in our database. For that we have to do workflow and all linking. So here I am taking repeating group also. Why I am taking repeating group? Here I am taking repeating group because uh, all the food names are visible here and there is no repeat repeat entry will allow. Okay, so this will let us know there is no no repetition of the data okay so here we have to like and uh, i am taking one text also in this text we will see our food name so Here I go and just twenty. Okay. So here what we also one thing left uh, alert. Why we are taking alert? We are taking alert because uh, alert will help in us where. It will help us in when there is a duplication of food name then this alert will show us that this 
food name is already exist in your database so this will allow i'm just uh, writing here this food name is all already taken okay so here i give uh, some i don't want background color and uh, background style and go layout you want height and i don't want padding in this also so i'm just re removing it it is as per your need you can remove as per your need okay so zero zero okay here i'm aligning it to the left side because all our items is in the left so after that what we will do we will go in database we will create data the food c-a-t-e-g-o-r-y food category and in we will have to create one field also and food name and the field type is text okay let's create it go to design uh, our third step is we have to do some workflow and linking so we have to give workflow and submit button that in what we are creating we are creating create food category food category and there we give one field also that is food name we have to take this put input value when like enter value okay then create new food category when when create new food category will be create this will create only when do a search for do a search for what do a search for food category we created now after that what will we do we created there is one field food name and input under food name value so that each first item first item is empty let me call this and put an input enter food name value first item is empty then it will what it will do it will create a new food category okay but when there is already first item is not empty what it will do just copy it copy this workflow and paste it here and here what we will do do a search for enter food name value is not empty first item okay there is first item is not empty and what it will happen then show an alert box and there is only one alert box that it already taken it okay oh i think we done with this all okay then after that let's preview oh there one thing left we left with i think just wait a minute we left with this repeating group linking just finish this also then we will do this okay okay here we are showing data in this so which data we are showing food category do a search for food category and here what we are showing current cell food category there when we add one field that is food name okay okay so let's preview this okay so let's enter food name uh let's take an example go go okay submit here you see burger is already uh we missed one thing here 
what we missed we missed one to here create and reset relevant inputs okay it will reset inputs okay then reset okay uh, now i re-enter burger what guys you will you are thinking it will take it or not it will not take it it will show an alert this food is already taken so our workflow and all are working okay let's take an example and the it uh, sandwich so it will take it or not it will take it oh it is taking okay so i think you all enjoy this video and uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching this video.